It's Saturday the 28th of September 2019 and it's been horrendous this week with the weather. It has tipped it down. Anyway, I'm out later on today trying to get a ride in. I'm a cyclist and I live in the Pennines. And today it's absolutely tipping it down and I can't be bothered riding. I did nearly 60 miles last night in the rain, so today I'm going to wait for it to clear. At the moment we're in Todmorden and the guys are ahead of me, they don't know I'm actually out. So let's go for a bike ride, in the car. We've got the World UCI Championships coming up tomorrow and the weather there has been pretty bad as well. I'm not riding, it's too wet. What are you filming us I, I just passed the there before I catch you and have a brew with you. Right. So we're going up to Craggies. Are you off? Craggies. Where? Craggies. Out for a brew with us. What, out for me in this? Team car, brew wagon. Oh, All right. Come pick us up. Fucking Jeremy. Jeremy turned up again. It was half nine last night. Around food, 60 miles a shorter last night. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm not doing wheels tomorrow. That horrible climb now. This is a ride. The short one? Yeah. To get onto Causeway. Get in, Dad. Get in, Dad. Right. I'll follow you around. Don't worry. So, as you can see, it's absolutely tipping it down right now. And there's Mike just getting onto the back of the bunch. Once I come through, Steve realises there's an opportunity, so he puts a bit of a sprint on and gets behind the car. But look how quickly that gap behind has appeared. In that short distance there, Steve's put about 100 metres between him and the guys at the back. He'll now be able to afford to just take it easy a bit more, get the benefit from the drafting, and keep a nice rhythm. And there he is just passing Owen. He was busy looking at the river. So anyway, let's get further down the road and wait for the guys before the main climb of the day. Okay, we're on a massive climb here. Here's the guys. Just gone through a right deluge. <laughs> they think they're in the Tour de France right now being filmed by a pro crew, but we're not. This is a tough one, this. So here we are now in Cornholm. The guys are just up the road and this is a brutal climb with several switchbacks. As you can see, plenty of leaves on the road, plenty of water. So getting traction could always be a key factor when putting some power through the pedals, especially if you're standing up and you're out of the saddle. And when the road can reach up to 20%, you don't want to be slipping on the tarmac. Looking on the map, this road has several names, but it's commonly known as the Shore Road Climb in Todmorden. So here I am now on one of the first of the switchbacks, and as you can see from that angle, the road really does start to ramp up. And already, gaps are appearing in the peloton. There's Carl just at the back, working the bike the best he can. It's not his favourite bike, he thinks it's a bit heavier than the other one, but on a day like this, it's a perfect bike for these conditions. So let's just move further up the road to the next left hand hairpin bend and look at the angle of that. That is a beauty. This is where the gaps in the group will start to open up. And Carl takes that quite wide. It's not as severe as it is on the inside. So I'll just come through in the car. You can see the valley on the left down below. We've got some altitude already. And here we have Mike and Steve working together and they'll just be recovering now for the next stage of this climb. And here's the head of the field, we've got Owen and it looks like we've got Lee. Lee's working the bike well there and he has some good gears for climbing on that bike. Riding round here you want to be using a compact setup which is a 50, 34 and probably with at least a 30 on the back. Most lads will use a 28 though. So let's move on further up the road and find a nice spot just to offer the guys some encouragement. It's wild up here. 
really wild. Tomberton's way back down there. You've got the Cliffiger Gorge behind me there. Here's Lee. Keep going, Lee. Here's Owen now. Nice new blue bike. Keep going, Cal. Is there much more of this? Here we are now further on up the climb where we're approaching the Gaul Lane section. Now, from the base of the valley to the top of this climb, you're almost taking on a thousand foot of ascent. It is a brutal hill, especially in these conditions. And here we are at the back with Mike and Carl. So let's have a look at what the gaps are like on the final stages of this climb. And as you can see, there's a big gap developed between the two guys there, and this looks like Steve. And he's working the bike really hard there. Again, let's move forward. The road levels out a touch more, and we're approaching the summit. Still a big gap. And looking at the data on this climb, some of the lads were riding at around 265 watts, maintaining 330 watts, and peaking at over 400 watts. Here we are now, just catching up with Owen. How are you feeling, Owen? Oh, good. It's a tough climb, this. <laughs> Proper tough one. So let's leave Owen behind and get way up to the head of the field. Here is Lee, and he was absolutely way out up front, just approaching the main Kebs Road here. Lee is going really well at the moment, and he can definitely climb these hills. And when they get to the top here, they have a well-earned rest, ready for the next stage, and it was fast.
quick, let's get in the car, let's try and catch them. There's a few hairpin bends on here. This area now is known locally as Mytham Steeps. And you're coming from the top of the hills here at 1400 feet, very quickly down to a valley level of 260 feet. It's almost 1200 feet of descending. But as you can see, it's very wet, we've got leaves, it's extremely steep and the guys are taking no risks whatsoever. And there's Steve just coming through, he's a good mountain biker and a very confident bike handler. They're all taking it very cautiously. Owen just stops here to take a photograph of this part of the ride. And that was a good call there by Mike. The last thing you want to be doing is going down here way too fast and skidding and crashing out into an oncoming vehicle. Here we are now approaching the bottom part of this descent. And again, look how steep it is. It is extremely dangerous out there at the moment. You cannot afford to take any risks. Mike's an experienced bike rider. He's been cycling for a long, long time. So he'll just get down here as safely as possible. Here we are now approaching Hebden Bridge, stuck behind the 592. It's not a great shot, so let's move on. And the next part of the ride will be Crag Vale. Right, well, I'm a bit ahead of the guys now. I'm on the Crag Vale climb, the steep bits that way. Craggy's Calf is up there, so there's the signpost. You take a left here and you're five minutes from the cafe. And we've got a lot of water about today. We just got Mike here to the side. It's raining again. Yeah. Shocking. Shocking. Okay, the guys are in the cafe now, let's go and join them get a bacon butty. They've done all the hard work. For me, it's been too warm in the car to be honest, but I can cope with it. So having drunk loads of coffee, eating bacon sandwiches like they were going out of fashion, and the usual bike talk, which today was about whether 28mm tyres are better than 25mm tyres. It was time to hit the road again. And as you can see, what a fantastic backdrop we have there. We are blessed to have such a fantastic cycling countryside on our doorstep. If you look ahead, there is the Crag Vale Road meandering its way over the moorside.
Well, that was a fantastic descent of Blackstone Edge, and there were plenty of rooster tails coming off the guy's back wheels. And that completes the loop as we arrive in Littleborough. Most of the lads here will have cycled around 40 miles and will have climbed over 3,000 feet in elevation. And it was time to meet up and talk right, about the ride. <laughs> right. right, that were a bit of fun. Right, the guys are off. We're all off. Anyway, it's not over, and on the next ride, we're cycling into Chipping, into the heart of West Lancashire, where we found a fantastic cafe. And this is where Bradley Wiggins even goes to have a cup of coffee. If you like these videos, let me know, and I'll continue making them for you. And thank you for watching.